Right, um, I am about to drive an Integrale for the first time in 26 years. This is genuine, this is totally real. Uh, here we are, back in the Evo. I've never driven an Evo 1 before. So, uh, this is very exciting. About to see if the legend lives up to the hype. <laughs> so, let's uh, fire it up. Check it out. Now that is a 80 uh, style trip computer. Beautiful. Right. <laughs> let's actually drive this down the road.
idea where I'm driving. I am literally just driving. I've got a full tank of full tank of lead power, and I'm literally just driving without a clue where I'm going. And uh, it's absolutely fine by me. So I thought the I thought the left-hand drive would take some getting used to, but I tell you what, it was it feels very easy to adjust to to me. I mean, I have obviously driven left-hand drive cars before, but it just feels like this is how you're supposed to drive an Integrale. Um, the ones I had back in the day were right-hand drive conversions, and I don't know. This just adds to the specialness of the whole thing. You know you're in something special when driving slowly is enjoyable. And there are too many cars, too many fast cars that can pull that trick off. Um, but this is definitely one of them. So what can I tell you? What could you expect from your first ever drive in a Lancia Integrale? Well, the gear change is not. The gear change is is only is merely okay. It's ordinary a bit rubbery. I think the quick shifter might be a tempting option to go for, um, but I wanted to try it as, as it was as it left the factory stop. I still have no idea where I'm going or where I am. But, so the gear change, not what this car is famous for. Um, the engine is very smooth, which I, I knew, but it's got twin counter rotating balance shafts, so it is a very smooth engine. Um, uh, so that's as I remembered it, I suppose. Perhaps it's a bit smoother than I remembered it actually. I haven't yet revved it high. Uh, there's so much to enjoy just even doing this. So, why didn't I buy an Evo 2? Well, there are reasons I didn't actually. I actually wanted an Evo 1. Aside from the fact that Evo ones are still less expensive in the UK, even though in Europe they seem to fetch more similar money to an Evo 2. This Evo 2 thing is a very much UK obsession. So why do I want an Evo 1? Well, they have a bigger turbo. The Evo ones were the last ones actually made by Lancia. And they were the last cars to be rallied by Lancia, homologated for competition. So I, I quite fancy an Evo 1. I also think for taller drivers there's more room with these seats. I know the so-called high back or wing back seats, they look nice and they hold you really well. I find these, at least in the, in the Alcantara, Fantastic, really comfortable, holds hold really well. So I was expecting it to feel smaller actually. I was expecting it to feel like a, a tiny little mini. Um, it is small, but it doesn't feel insubstantial. There's a sort of solidity and um, feeling of weight to the thing. It doesn't feel tinny and too like feel substantial.
try and gather my thoughts. So, here we have, I mean, gauges, dials, they, car, modern cars don't do that much anymore, do they? But look at this. That's what made this little thing more exotic than it had any right to be, given its starting point. Let's get out and have a look. Little, as it powers down, little whistle and whine. Ah. So folks, look at that. That is a Lord Blue Evo 1, which I'm told is very, very rare. But look at the state of that. What an absolute beauty. So this is in lovely condition, this one. It's very low my edge, but look at it all back here. And no big speakers in the back, which is good. A roof lining that doesn't sag, that's rare. But I mean, look at this thing. I haven't driven one for 26 years. Uh, I left it too long. Uh, they're magic, they're absolutely magic. Uh, fully deserving of its um, hero status among petrol heads. So this is serious uh, trip down memory lane, and then I'm going to get, then I'm going to take it home and give it a damn good wash. weight to the 
drivetrain, um, a smoothness to the engine, and a, just an oily delight, oily precision to the steering. It just, if a steering could feel expensive, this is how it would feel. I might stop here to get the other camera out and do a few little drive-bys because it's quite a nice piece of road and I have a feeling that this thing is very photogenic on film. So, see you in a minute. Lord Blue Evo 1. I mean... <laughs> So back home, um, it's it's a huge it's a huge privilege to own uh, one of these again. It's a huge thrill to be back in one. Um, I'm pretty blown away by everything you've heard about the magic of these cars. It is it's all true, and it doesn't feel like an old '90s hatchback with a few go faster bits I don't know it just does feel more special than that it's it um, somehow Lancia have created something really exotic out, out of uh, a very humble starting point um, I, I just can't imagine ever not wanting to drive one of these it's it's lovely it's really really lovely and I'm looking forward to giving it a good wash and clean and um, it shall want for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 